Nigeria already exports 14% of its liquefied natural gas to Europe annually. The EU bloc wants the country to drive that up to possibly above 60%. In the short term, we are very much um, interested in additional volumes of LNG coming from Nigeria to the European Union. But we're also interested in long-term contracts. But Nigeria has its own domestic gas challenge. Authorities put the country's current gas demand requirement at 250 million standard cubic feet per day. But supply is just around 65%, leaving a deficit of almost 40%. Even without meeting its own domestic gas needs, the country has shown keen interest in the EU deal, as the Minister of State for Petroleum made it clear during one of his meetings with the EU delegation on gas. We'll be very willing and we are very well positioned to be a reliable partner, reliable supplier of energy to Europe. To underscore that commitment, Nigeria is already involved in the construction of two gas pipelines to Europe. The EU too has pledged funding support for the projects as well. The problem is supply and infrastructure. Um, we are not able to supply ourselves. We don't have sufficient infrastructure to, be, to deliver gas to our own domestic economy. So um, it's frankly, even though it's a good idea, none of this really makes any sense until we get serious about making the necessary investments in infrastructure making the necessary upstream investments in development of non-associated and associated gas to be able to fulfill our domestic obligations as well as our export uh, aspirations. The Nigerian government has made it clear that gas is the country's transition fuel to its net zero emission target by 2060. So it plans to invest more in gas and is the reason it's keen on the EU gas supply deal. I believe that the focus really should be on supplying our domestic economy, adding value to the resources domestically, increasing employment domestically, and maybe in the future, once we've developed the infrastructure to bring the gas uh, uh, that we have above and beyond our own domestic needs to the European market, it would make a good idea and we can have that as a credible focus. The government is optimistic it can drive up domestic gas supply and still meet the EU demand for more gas. It's really a tall order, but when you consider the huge forex revenue the country could make out of the EU deal, then it's understandable why the government thinks it can actually use one stone to kill two birds as far as its gas plan goes. DG Badimasi, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.